Hey guys, thanks for checking out this week's Fin Prep Trading and Investment video newsletter. So SPY more or less the same story as we've had for um, the past, looks like about four weeks here, just drifting along the breakdown of this underside trend line off the 420 highs. Still floating up, you'll see um, a lot of the closes are bid off the lows of day, and when we flip to the weekly chart, we kind of get the answer on why the low of day. The answer remains the same, it's the 20-week moving average rising and just holding support. Um, keeping S&P propped up here. Um, we'll see what's to happen. Just a minor point of note again with the MACD, we had a negative crossover quite some time ago, um, pretty much on that breakdown. And now we have a negative divergence where essentially MACD is drifting lower, indicating um, basically the, the slower pace of price gains. So whereas price is drifting slightly higher, MACD is drifting slightly lower, which generally could be a precursor to um, further downside. So we'll keep an eye on that as a potential um, indicator of, of, of a retest. Um, possibly at that 210 zone and more or less the 207-ish um, at that 50-week um, moving average would be an interesting opportunity uh, for us to consider anyways adding two longs. So that is what's going on or not going on with the SPY. In terms of gold, big week on gold. Congrats to anyone who took the short. Basically finally did take out that 125 kind of shelf level and that pennant. So where we have that series of declining tops, um, sadly for those of us who didn't get the message, you had the third pop, you had a nice fade, the fourth pop, I mean, that was basically the zone to fade, and fade it did, so came right in. We looked at the close last week, pretty much bang on that 125. Monday, slightly downward, and then Tuesday, nice gap down, as sometimes, as you definitely saw in the bear market in gold, um, these massive gap downs, um, as long with a bit of close and a little bit of fall through. So price trying to hold, slipped a little bit, but off that 200-day moving average on gold. So uh, massive opportunity um, has now passed as far as, um, that quick action in terms of a short on gold off that 125 shelf of support. So congrats again to anyone who took that. Um, in terms of looking out at a longer term for us, where we're interested is, um, you know, long at, you know, about 115.50, maybe a bit lower, 114.50 in that general vicinity. Um, on the premise of gold actually not only being in a bull market in terms of, you know, 20% up off its lows, but also taking out that long-term trend line drawing off all-time highs. So um, if that's to play out, uh, we're getting close to a spot where that interests us in taking a stance on that. Excellent short on um, the British pound finally played out similar to our gold, where, whereas we had that kind of pennant, you know, it looks like a triangle. Um, now in British pound, we basically had a sideways consolidation off the Brexit lows. Talked about this probably a few weeks ago. Check out the prior videos. And then again, nice downward action. So we, we took the short sometime on Tuesday mid-session um, and it played out quite well you know got your gap down since currency you know trades quite frequently not just you know our eight hours um, and then a nice um, actually overnight news in terms of a uh, flash crash on the British pound and so a pr very nice gap down you know we got out today so there could be further downside if, if you take the premise that the flash crash lows would provide kind of like a target so um, if you think back to SPY this was certainly a flash crash we were looking on the day uh, this was back in um, August of 2015, and that level, which was very quickly um, bid off, um, did become in 2016, as you can see, it actually pierced a bit, but um, it became an ultimate spot whereby the index drifted back towards and pr found support. If that's to be the case, there could be further downside in the pound, um, but you know we're happy just with the quick blast and get out, move on to the next trade. So um, well done on the British pound. Um, other interesting action, just a few sh charts here quickly then, uh, would be dollar. Dollar finally hit that 25 target we were talking about maybe about a month ago. Um, we got out of the position, so didn't endure all the chop and stuff. But for anyone buying and holding, that, that may have worked out. Um, if you also view this as a pennant, you can somewhat draw a triangle. I'm not going to with trend lines, but if you treat this as a triangle at the point of breakout, you know you measure the height, and essentially that's supposed to be the price target which would put you in at about this 25.30. Uh, let's say revisiting the highs of 25 and a quarter, that's possible. Um, also, this could be the pivot. You, you know, obviously, a bit of a, um, that, you know, UUP couldn't really hold uh, green on the day and had a decent bit of upside, uh, somewhat of a reversal, still within inside the prior day's bar. So I won't say that it's completely off, but um, not a trade we're interested in looking at taking. If there's further upside in the dollar up to this 25 and a quarter, um, this obviously then has negative implications potentially for commodities. So could argue for that further downside in gold to get us to a zone where we're interested, at least in a long for a medium term long. Um, and then on the other hand, we have oil, which has been performing well um, in the past few weeks. Um, 
So USO, you know, we're looking like we're breaking out above the 250 day moving average. It does not all look like that if you look at the proper commodity contract charts. Um, so, um, but what is interesting, right, we have a rising short, very short term 9 EMA. So if we, a bit of a pullback here, if we can get a little bit more, that's kind of an interesting zone for us um, to start looking at oil names, but um, that's kind of the secondary idea. Finally got above that psychologically important $50 mark on Brent, although not on West Texas Intermediate, but Brent being the more significant international contract, you can argue, you know, it's kind of a, a, a bit of a positive sign for gold in general. So I think that pretty much covers it, guys. So good action, good shorting out of gold, good shorting out of the pound, um, dollar more or less stack, or sorry, S&P more or less stagnant dollar, getting a little bit of um, rally. So we'll see what happens in the weeks ahead. If we can get a nice reversal in dollar, um, start putting some fire under the commodities, uh, that would be interesting. All right, so that's what's going on this week, guys. Talk to you next week. Um, and check out our prior videos. Make sure you subscribe um, and stay up to with us. All right, see ya.